everyone, Sarah here today with a new card for Brass and Bliss, and I am playing with some fun new things that have just come out in the shop. And right there, you see me using two of them, actually. One is the Be Mine 6x6 paper pad, and then the quilted cover die as well. And I decided to grab that pretty paper for the front of my card and use the, the quilted die cover on it because I wanted to use those colors in the other items I'm going to use in the card. Here I am actually using the um, nested rectangle stitch dies and I messed up. It's crooked. So what I decided to do is pull another piece of paper out of that Be Mine paper pad because there's so many different ones to choose from so I actually just pulled one of the yellows on the other side it's got a different pattern that's fine um, and then I also grabbed the nested inside scallop die from Brass and Bliss as well and then I'm also using one of the other a larger one of the nested rectangle stitch dies to make a frame because I can put this on there and adjust it a little bit it's wide enough so I can straighten it out and you can't tell that it's crooked um, so I made sure to do that. So here I'm going to go ahead and cut out, um, cut down some paper so that I can do some ink blending on the background. And I'm also going to go ahead and stamp some of these adorable bees from the new Buzzy Bees stamp set. I love these and they have dies as well. So it makes them really easy to cut out. Um, but there's five different bees with different looks. One even has cute little lashes. I'm going to use her on this one too, along with a different one, but they're going different directions. So you have choices. They don't all go one direction or anything like that, but I just chose these two to work with this time along with the flowers, the stems, and the leaves. And I don't actually end up using the leaves, but I still went ahead and stamped them anyways. I didn't know at the time that I wasn't going to use the leaves. Might as well have them in the end, right? Plus there's a dye to cut them out. So why not? Um, and then there's some really cute sayings. It says, uh, buzz and by to say hi, happy bee day, and hey there, honey. I think they're adorable. I actually chose uh, buzz and by to say hi. That way I could just have a card for an anytime. Just send a card because I felt like it. Um, there I was showing you that I used the slimline cloud dies um, on a piece of my acetate, and I cut it out so that I had my own stencil, but it was made using the brass and bliss dies this way I can go ahead and do you know my own inking it's really great that I can use paper as well with using the dies but this way I figured I could go ahead and just do some of my own ink blending on my background I know I don't even need to do this whole thing but I pretty much go all the way to the bottom and I go lighter and lighter as I go down I'm going to add just whatever's left on my little foam pad there to go around it. And then I'm going to smash some down on my glass board and splatter. And then I'll also pull um, just some chroma mist from my stash. It's a gold, but it's not extremely bold. It's really pretty and shiny. And I'm going to splatter that on the background as well. Clean up my mess so that I can make a bigger one. Um, so I kind of regret this. I went ahead and used my Distressed Oxides. I love my Distressed Oxides, but when they get on top of the black ink, it kind of does the white look. Um, you can tell it's there. Um, and I should have used my Color Fuses. It would have, you know, it doesn't leave the same look on top of the black if you, you know, accidentally go over or anything like that. But I still like the way that this turned out. Um, I just think that next card I will use my color fuses, but, um, here I'm using a couple different colors of yellow so I can add some, you know, some shading and everything like that. And yes, things at the side of my desk keep disappearing because I am scrapping with somebody else, um, making cards this day with, uh, someone else here with me. So, um, that's why little things keep disappearing off my desk. <laughs> um, I'm, I went back and tried to clean up some of the color that had gotten on the black not much of it comes off um, and I went ahead and filled in their little antennas with this I mean seriously they're just too cute um, I went ahead and grabbed the light blue so I can add some shading to their wings but I don't fully fill them in um, I just do a little bit of blue towards the tops and towards the side of the bodies really um, and then I leave it at that when it comes to the wings I kind of went along the lines of what it shows on the front of the the stamp set 
until it comes to the flowers. <laughs> um, I didn't want all my flowers to be yellow. That's the reason I had picked that pattern paper that had the pink and the blue and stuff like that in it. So here I am actually adding a little bit of pink to these flowers. I went with the lightest color first and then I'm going back in with a little bit of this darker uh, pinky color around the centers and like where it would be more shaded. And then I'll fill in the center with a little bit of yellow and then with this other one, I am going to paint them yellow, just kind of like a um, sunflower. And that'll be the flowers for me. And I'm not going to make you watch me paint the other set because I do. If you see right up there up top, I have two sets. Um, I don't think I make you watch me do all of that. But here I also picked two greens and I'm going ahead and doing the light green first and then shading with the darker green, just so you can tell there's a little bit of, you know, difference in color. There's a little bit of shading. Oh, I guess I do. I speed it up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, there wasn't really a huge reason for you to watch all of this. I just did it a little sped up a little faster so that you didn't have to watch every bit of it. But I went ahead and painted some of the extra flowers and leaves and stuff because I thought that I might want to use them. I already drew out my own card sketch and everything for this before I ever started. Um, and that's what I'm working off of now. So here, I'm going to go ahead and glue my little yellow frame to the front of this. I love these little yellow, the, or the little yellow scallop frame that I did. I like the scallops on the inside. It's too cute. Um, and then here, I'm going to cut some of my 3D foam down so that it sticks closer to the side of the frame and it doesn't show through with the little dotted pattern that is in the quilted cover. You know, I didn't want that to show. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do this around all four sides and then I'm going to attach it to my cloud background since it's, it's dried and everything. I can go ahead and do that and then I will flip it over and I will add quite a bit of adhesive to it. I am using dry adhesive, just some, uh, tape runner here and I will go ahead and pull those and then I will adhere that to the base of my card. I put it up on its side so I get it straight. I know some people do it other ways. Um, I'm going to fussy cut around my words here and again it's just buzzing by to say hi I thought it was cute I like it I pulled out my um black micron and then my white gel pen to go over some of the spots that I had marked with the uh distressed oxide and if you know touch up any spaces where the distressed oxide leaked out the side or or anything like that um I went ahead and added a little bit of 3D foam to the back of that buzzing by to say hi, just the top that's sitting inside the frame so that it wouldn't sink down. I'm going to add some foam to the backside of the, the girl bee. And I'm going to add a little bit of foam to the top of some of my flowers, just the flowers themselves and pop them up. So I'll go ahead and glue this stem down here. And then I'm going to pop the pink flower up. Oh, the yellow flower. My bad. Um, the pink flower goes up at the top. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get a little bit of the pink in here as well. The yellow one is going to stick down just to the base and then I'm going to pop the pink one up up here and it's just a little extra color and that finishes off this card. I really do hope that you enjoyed this and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the Brass and Bliss YouTube channel as well and subscribe to them so you're notified when new stuff comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!